Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve the update error code 0x8007-0026 when you are attempting to use Windows Update or System Restore. And it says that there were some problems installing some updates, but we'll try again later. If you keep seeing this and want to search the web or contact support for information, this may help. And then it just provides that same error message code. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process, and without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So all you have to do is open up the search menu, type in Troubleshoot. This match should come back with Troubleshoot Settings. Go ahead and open that up. On the right side, select Other Troubleshooters. And then you want to select the Windows Update Troubleshooter, and then select the Run button. And then once that's done, go ahead and close out of here. And I would suggest restarting your device. And hopefully now if you check for updates, you should be good to go. If you're still having a problem, we can attempt to clear out the software distribution folder, which is basically just a directory that Windows uses as kind of a repository to hold updates temporarily. So we're going to go ahead and clear that out. So open up File Explorer, or you can search for it. Select this PC on the left side, and then double click on your local disk where Windows is installed. Double click on the Windows folder and then go down to Software Distribution and open that up. Now anything in here, just hide over it, just drag over or tap Control A on your keyboard to select all. And then either tap the Delete key on your keyboard or right click and go ahead and delete these items. And if you have to skip any items, that's fine. Just check mark to this for current items and then skip. And again, just skip over them. Close out of here. And now you want to restart your computer one more time. And then we're going to check for updates once our computer restarts. And like I said, now we're going to go ahead and check for updates. Just go ahead and search for updates, check for updates, and we're going to go ahead and check and see if there's anything available. And then I recommend downloading and installing any updates that it comes back with, and that should hopefully be able to resolve your problem. So as always, thank you for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.